basketball injury. Basketball injury. Part of the ten million dollars I spent on gambling, part on booze, and part on women. The rest I spent foolishly. George Raft. Hey. It's funny. He said that part of the ten million dollars I spent on gambling, part on booze, and part on women. And he says that the rest I spent foolishly. So he's trying to say that the first three he did, he didn't spend it foolishly. <laughs> are, you, are you getting the mindset? Uh, I think that he's the wisest man ever to live. <laughs> to think that spending part on gambling, spending part on boozing, and spending part on womanizing, that one is okay. Mm. He said that, and the rest I spent <laughs> foolishly. So this one, the, the first three he spent very wisely. Okay. Proverbs 13, 11. This honest money dwindles away. But he who gathers money little by little makes it grow. May the little effort you make in growing money honestly, may it grow in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, I didn't hear women. Amen. The little that you are growing, the little that you are gathering, may it grow for you. Amen. And may everyone see that indeed you can be honest and make it in life. Amen. Amen. A guy was limping. So his friend asked him what was wrong. He replied, My foot backs me sometimes. It's just an old basketball injury. His friend said, Ah, you aren't kind of you, you are kind of short to be a basketball player. He replied, Oh no, I never played basketball, just lost a ton of money. On the NBA finals last year and kicked in the team. So, what can you bet? You watch that, you know? You know, 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 you so now you use your phone and then nobody sees you. <laughs> One of the surest and quickest way to ruin your life and destiny is gambling. Tommy Cooper said, gambling has brought our family together. We had to move to a smaller house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the people I used who made this particular quote in this, they are all very sarcastic. So he used to have a very big house. Mm -hmm. But he had gambled to a point that he, he had lost almost everything. So he said that gambling has brought his family together. But now they are not living in a big house. They are living in a small house. <laughs> he has lost everything. That's, he implied that's what he's telling you. Mm -hmm. And that is what gambling is. By gambling, we lose both our time and our treasure. And these are the most important things in life. They are the two most precious things to the life of a man. Gambling operates under the premise that greed can be satisfied by luck. Don't live your life to chance. Don't live your life to chance. I said that gambling operates under the premise that greed can be satisfied by luck. Your greed, think that it is luck that can satisfy it. I'm miserable. I said, me I've seen a man in town, huge, big. He had men in town. Went to gamble with his house. Mm -hmm. It was deep. Not still, no, I'm paying. I didn't know that for Sandra quite. Hoping that he'll win and he'll reclaim. He lost that one too. And because of his son, he's much taller and bigger than Masubulu. And of course, San Juan Confu, unfortunately, he waits now. Let's see what people from die. Even death rejected him. Even death rejected him. Greed. And you think that I'm satisfied? Too luck. Gambling 
is a way of buying hope on credit. <laughs> Buy hope on credit. <laughs> Don't be addicted to betting. Understand that there is dignity in laboring. I, I love this one. This is my quote. There is dignity in laboring. If you labor, there is dignity in it. If you are an Abogoya driver, if you are if you are a teller, if no matter how small the job is, no matter how people don't how, how people despise it, as long as it is legal, there is honor in it. Labor, sweat, work it out. It is a matter of time. The little you are gathering, the Lord will bless it because there is honesty in that one. Don't, don't, don't fast track life. You will fast track your death. Don't rush too much in life. That I must have it. I must own it. My brother, we were the same class. I was better than him in class. How can he have this one? I must also have it. So we use crooked ways to have it. You may have it, but you may die early. Don't be greedy. Gamble with your life. Gamble with your money. And people do it to the point and then they start stealing from work. Because he's lost almost everything. So he starts pilfering. Me, if I catch you, you go home. No mercy if I catch you. You go home. I pray we will not find sex here in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, the safest way to double your money is to fold it over once and put it in your pocket. If you want to double your money, you see, when you fold the money, mm -hmm. and two, fold, fold it and put it, you have doubled it. It is the safest. Don't gamble with it. It will not be a blessing to you. I pray the Lord will bless you this week. Amen. I pray the Lord will show us kindness. Amen. May the Lord honor us Amen. and bless our sweat. Amen. May the little we present to him become great. Amen. I said, may the little we present to him become great. Amen. May we be a blessing to somebody. Amen. May somebody smile because of us. Amen. I said, may somebody have hope because of us. Amen. May somebody know Jesus because of us. Amen. May somebody afford meals because of us Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. I bless you with the blessings of Elohim in this 11th month we pray let the 11th miracle appear in our lives Amen. in the name of Jesus whatever I have touched let it be blessed whatever we have prayed for whatever we have desired from January till now I pray that in this 11th month may the Lord show up Amen. I said may the Lord show up Amen. I said may the Lord show up Amen. may he honor every work of ours Amen. even in the name of Jesus Amen. and I pray that may the Lord bless our customers may he bless our management may he bless our board God, and all that concerns us. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.